Hello and welcome to Insanely Dark Online Games for Children Week, courtesy of Cracked.com. Are they paying me to do this? Nope. Kind of wish they were, but they're not. Um, there was an article on Cracked.com, and we are going to play the games from that article. They're all Flash games. They're all girl games, actually. None of them are, or at least none of them that I remember were for boys. I've not played any of them, and we're going to play them uh, throughout this week. Now, briefly, and I'm going to make this really brief, uh, I have been busy, but I can't necessarily say I've been so busy that I couldn't record a video. Um, I've been tired, but I can't necessarily say I've been tired so tired I couldn't record a video. I've been lazy, and I can say I've been lazy enough to not record a video. But basically, yeah, I had a whole bunch of stuff going on and just wasn't able to record. In fact, a couple times I sat down specifically to record and ended up not just not feeling it. And I do this because I enjoy playing games, not necessarily because I, you know, am beholden to make videos. So what is our first game going to be? And uh, hopefully this doesn't come across too loud on my end. Barbie Lice Control. Yes, this is a game. I do. N I have no clue if it's officially licensed. Here on GirlGames.com, Barbie Lice Control. This looks like it's branded, but this does not look like a branded Barbie. So, let's play. It says skip. What am I? What would I skip? <laughs> I would skip grabbing this. This looks kind of like a brush and kind of like a shower head. I have no clue what's going on here. Okay, so we have a Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty is Sanrio. Barbie is Mattel. So I'm already thinking this might not be a 100% legit Barbie game. What is this? Lice Killing Shampoo. Uh, this is obviously a lice comb. This looks like mousse or conditioner. Like I said, this looks like a shower head. We have a magnifying glass. Then we have another lice comb. Maybe there's, maybe this is a regular comb brush, and this is the lice comb. We got a rag. All right, so let's click on this. Oh, sh get that hair wet. I love the the little ghosting uh, action in the background. I also only at the very last second noticed that it was telling me to move my mouse back and forth. I was moving it up and down, but I was getting just enough lateral movement to count. Okay, so this says Lice Killing Shampoo. I suppose that this part right here is supposed to be a shower head, but doesn't it kind of look like a disposable razor? And one of the ways you can attempt to get rid of head lice is to shave your head completely. Get rid of all the hair, and then there's nothing for the lice to hold on to. Alright, so let's take the shampoo. Okay, now that looks like a tea infuser, or an aspergillus, not aspergillus, as, uh, may, wait, yeah, an aspergillus, or possibly like a pom-pom berry, I don't know, okay, so we do this, and get her hair all shampooed up, I don't know if I'm doing this right or not, I'm trying to follow the movement. Okay, there we go. Ten minutes later, we apply the killing shampoo for ten minutes. Then, rinse it out. You need to get the hair... Whoa, hey. I clicked the left mouse button and I think it skipped. Darn it. I have robbed you of the experience of rinsing this little girl's hair while she stands in the middle of her bedroom. Because this does not look like a bathroom. This doesn't even look like a fancy Victorian bathroom. This looks like a sitting room slash makeup room where we have a magical shower head that just squirts water. And also, you know, no drips, nothing getting on her, like, shoulders or anything. Use a towel, dry off her hair. Yay! <laughs> and to indicate that it's dry, we've added just very small little details. Now we're going to use whatever this stuff is. This is... I, I don't know what it is, and I feel like a bad person. <laughs> For rubbing my gloved hand all over her head. What is that? I'm I'm honestly curious. I'm sitting here trying to figure out what that is, if it's not like mousse or something. I know some people will use like Vaseline or petroleum jelly or white petrolatum, all basically the same thing. 
Um, some people will use... Oh, what is that stuff called? It starts with a C. It's supposed to make a film on the hair. And that film then suffocates the, the lice. Oh, well, let's grab our lice comb and do this. And do this. I'm, I'm doing this. Look at, look at me. Look at me do this. Okay, the arrow... The arrow does nothing. What needs to happen here? I'm following the arrow. All right, down. Boom. Nothing happened. Boom. Nothing happened. I want nothing more than to comb your hair, little girl. Wait, do I have to hold the button? Yep, you got to hold the button. So previously, you didn't hold the button at all. Also, did I just style your hair? The heck is this? Okay, now I click next because no no more tools apply. Or apparently they do. So I grab the knit comb again, and I go ahead and split her hair out. Because when you're doing this, you have to get all the way down to the scalp. So you do the hair in sections, and then you run the knit comb through it. Knits are another name for the lice and their eggs. And the knit comb has extremely thin, very close together um, teeth. And as you pull it through the hair, it actually literally combs the knits and the eggs and the lice right out of the hair. All right, so now we grab some of this and we do this. Oh, those are barrettes. Okay, so then we take this. So this is a regular comb and this is our knit comb. And we go through and now you can see all the little knits stuck in the comb. So now you take a piece of um, facial tissue or Kleenex and then you use it to wipe the knits off. So then you comb out the next section of hair and then you grab more knits, wipe them off, and then you comb out the next section of hair, and then you do the other side. Okay, normally, we just did like two sections of hair. Normally, you gotta do a lot more than that, because generally, there's a lot of knits. Okay, grab this. You gotta go through the, the kid's hair, the entirety of their hair. You start right at the part in the middle, and then you gotta go all the way down the side of the head, all the way through the back of the head, all the way through the other side of the head. It is a super pain in the butt. I have never had to do it. I have never in my life had lice. Um, but, you know, in pharmacy school, they do actually teach you this stuff. All right, so you are now knit free, you horrible, horrible, lice riddled adolescent. I'm going to say adolescent, but you don't look like an adolescent. You look too young for that. Okay, so now we're looking at her scalp. And looking at her scalp, you can see that these are lice, and these are their eggs, and their eggs are stuck to the hair. That's why you can't just wash your hair and shampoo them and have them all disappear, because the eggs are stuck on and glued on. All right, so we're going to take uh, this, I guess, and uh, zap the eggs with it. Yeah. I actually don't know what this is. It looks like something, you know, like a thermometer that they... Or not a thermometer... An otoscope, where they stick it in your ear, the doctor sticks that in your ear to look into your ear. But the fact that it's got like a little laser beam coming off the front of it makes it seem very much like it's got some form of heat. And this looks like a very weird flashlight. And we use it to irradiate and kill the bugs. And you gotta be careful about that. Because if you don't irradiate the bugs properly, then they grow 50 feet tall. Okay, is that good? Oh, you gotta move the magnifying glass around. I see the way that this works. Oh, got another bug. Get out of here. Get out of here! You're not welcome here, bug. Oh, there's another knit. Okay. okay. Oh, there's another one. See? All the fun of cleaning lice out of your daughter's hair and... If you can't do it every day at home, you can still recreate the wonder and the majesty and the creepy bug-addled scalp of your child here anytime online, whenever you feel like it. Okay, so now we're going to add more moisturizer. Yay, bubble, 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 toil trouble. And then we're going to rinse it out, rinse it out. Okay, this is my favorite part because you actually get to see the bubbles, like, disappear. And now this, that looks like a victory bell, actually. The Pokemon, just pink instead. I know it's a hairdryer, but just it has a very weird shape to it. 
I like that her hair vibrates the entire way. And it's so spark. No, those are giant nits. Oh my gosh, they've left gigantic eggs in your hair. We're going to have to just cut it all off. I'm so sorry. Well done. Now let's choose a hairstyle for Barbie. Bald. I want leukemia as my... Whoa, the ladder braid? Or the half loop braid back? This just looks creepy. I feel like I would be a bad person if I did that to my daughter's head. So I'm going to do this. Yay. Oh. Okay, I'm going to have to do this. Uh. 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 Yeah. Uh. Yay. Uh. Yay. Uh. Yay. I have a book on baking. It's actually on uh, a bunch of... It's actually on cooking in general. And it explains some of the concepts behind cooking. And the first section of it, which is what I'm reading right now, is on baking and specifically on baking bread. And so it talks about the different ingredients you can add to bread and what they do with respect to the activity of the yeast and the formation of the gluten, etc., etc. And one of the things that... Um, after they explain, like, an ingredient or a point about baking bread, they then present a recipe that kind of illustrates that point. So you get to read about it, and then there's a recipe so you can put it into practice. One of the recipes is on braided bread. And you're supposed to make, you know, a number of lengths of dough, and then you braid them together into the, into the loaf. Except the book does not have pictures in it. And so when it explains this... It literally just says, and then do a standard four-piece braid. Now, I'm a guy. I've never had long hair. And I've never had sisters. So I have absolutely no clue what a standard four-piece braid or four-strand braid or whatever it says actually is. So I'm, ab I'm completely lost. This recipe is useless to me. And I think there's another one with like a five-star braid or something in it too, or five-strand braid. Okay, so whatever this stuff is, it looks like a giant bear claw on the side of it, doesn't it? Like these are all the claws and then there's the, the paw. Okay, this is water, so I'm getting the hair wet. Okay, the hair is now wet. And so we're gonna pull it out and then we're gonna braid it together. And then we're gonna pull it out and then we're gonna braid it together. And we're going to pull it out, and we're going to bring it together, and pull it out. Man, this is some riveting gameplay right here. This is like a boss battle. Yay! Okay, then, then, click. Whoa! Okay, somehow hair just jumped out. Alright, click. Okay, and then an elastic tie at the bottom. Okay, and that'll hold it. I agree. Okay, so now pull this side out. And then braid it together. Daddy's doing it, Barbie. Daddy's braiding your hair. I don't know why Daddy's braiding your hair, but it's happening. And all the girls at school will be so jelly. They're going to be like totes jelly. There we go. Braid that hair. Put the elastic on the bottom. Put. Okay, for some reason, to put the elastic here, you have to click up here on the braid. These actually look like sheaves of, well, not sheaves, but they look like wheat. That's kind of cool. And we grab another one, and we do it again to put the both of them together. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. I like it. I don't know how much I like these little strands on the outside here. Barbie Lice Control. Oh! Whoa! Welcome to Anime Barbie Lice Control. You can take her all the way from standard black with brown highlights? What the heck is that? Through to bright cherry red. And you can get it orange. And then you can get it yellow. So now she's like super blonde. And then you get some weird like Polaris from the X-Men color. And then more blue. And then get it blue blue. And now we're like totally an anime character. This is kind of right about in this area. I think is Sailor Mercury's hair. And we get really blue. Then we get purple. So like... Right about here-ish is kind of like uh, Ayaka Jirai's hair. And then you get like really pink. So this is kind of like... Lum? Not Lum. What's the girl's name from Elfin Lied? Whatever her name is. That's that. 
And then you can get kind of more like a pony pink. So this is like diamond tiara color. And then you can make it like straight up white. So we're gonna... You are so scared that you're gonna have bright white hair. There we go. White as it is. Next. And then we gotta... Spritz it. So now you're, you're spritzed. And then... Oh, we get to put a bow in. Well then. What does that look like? No, what does that look like? Oh, no, not all of No, not all of them. Nix. 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 Okay, so that... No, it doesn't match your dress. This... I don't like it. This one... Eh. This one... I like that one the best so far. What about this one? Eh. Uh, unless we get to change your dress. That one's kind of understated, but we're going to go with this one. Big pink bow for the girl. And you know what? Let's turn it. Wah, 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 wah. Can we just get it so that it's constantly turning? What is this thing? Huh, I don't know. It does a thing. All right, let's mix it and put on a new one so that it's recentered. Show! Show, okay. Way to show me the back of your head, Barbie. You don't want to turn around or anything? We're just going to leave it. I can print it? Sweet! I'm not going to print it. This has been Barbie Lice Control. Day one of Insanely Dark Online Games for Children Week. I will see you later. Bye-bye.